So now it's my honor to, to uh, invite uh, Mr. Jean-Pierre Elambassi of UCLG Africa to give us his thoughts or take away or key messages or things that you can reflect on uh, in this webinar and what we can take forward in the AfriCities uh, in May 2022. Over to you, Mr. Elambassi. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the uh, opportunity. And uh, let me for uh, at this uh, beginning of the year to wish all of you uh, a happy new year and to wish all of you good health because this is the challenge of the moment. Um, let me be very brief. I will focus on three main issues. The number one issue is lesson learned from COVID-19. Remember, uh, we were overconfident on the role of the world market to provide uh, goods and services that are needed everywhere, in any places, on our, in our countries and, and continent. And the lockdown that we all witness has proven that this overconfidence on the world market was wrong. And we, we have now the challenge of reverting this trend by relocalizing the production near the consumers, in particular for food systems and over, uh, uh, over uh, uh, basic uh, requirements of the population. So this uh, uh, change into the way I think it's frozen at my end, I'm not sure. Mr. Elombasi, can you hear me? Uh, I think we have lost you for a few minutes. I think he already warned us he may face some you know, connectivity challenges and I think it's happening. Maybe let's give him a few seconds to resume. This is the beauty of uh, of the internet. I'm sorry for that, uh, but I warned you before that we were uh, we would be cut off from time to time. I hope you will understand. So I'm back, and uh, I hope that uh, uh, bear with me. I, I will I will try and shorten what I wanted to say. Uh, so this is my first point. We need we have a challenge of bifurcating from the model that were overconfident to the market to a model that relocalize uh, the production mm -hmm. <sighs> near the consumers. So it is important that uh, we start this bifurcation at the level where we can master it. And uh, for us is the intermediary cities because they create the link between cities and rural areas. And the, the food system is dependent mainly on rural areas and on these linkages. And the structuring of uh, uh, the, the settlements, uh, the sustainable structuring of the settlement of people in a country should rely on this link between rural and urban through intermediary cities. That's my number, number one. The second one is the alert that we got from the IPCC saying that anyway, global warming is here to stay, even if we made any effort to curve uh, the, uh, the, the global warming. So adaptation to climate change is something that we have to envisage and vision now. 
And most of the time, uh, we will be faced with a higher situation of growth, higher uh, uh, situation of uh, hazards due to uh, climate uh, change. And uh, we need also here to adopt a more sustainable way of uh, dealing with nature. And uh, this is where also uh, we cannot uh, uh, treat this issue from the major cities. We have to go to intermediate cities to invent a new relation between human settlement and nature. And this is the place where this can be done with less damages. Uh, the, the, the last one is the need for a total rethink on how we are going to manage urbanization on this continent. And this is why we thought that it is important to focus our attention on intermediary cities as the key pillars of managing urbanization in a very rapid growing population situation. So it is very key that uh, uh, the Africity Summit uh, be seen as a place where we will reflect on how to bring to the table the position of Africa, uh, prolonging what uh, the African uh, Union has accepted to present at the uh, COP uh, at uh, Quito uh, when we discuss of the new urban agenda. And uh, remember, we were we said in Quito that it is not about managing urbanization and leaving behind rural areas is about managing human settlements across the country and across the continent and defining the way all the networks, all the places are connected from the rural to the intermediary, to the inter from intermediary to the uh, main cities in the country and from main cities to metropolitan areas for the region connecting the continent to the world. So I think it is very important to notice that we ha will have to rethink the five main functions that any territory have to deliver to its population. Number one, feeding its population. So reflection on the food system sustainability is key. Number two, building its territory. It is important to think how we can reverse the trend that uh, uh, see that uh, 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 building is totally dependent on foreign uh, products and not on uh, the material that we we have on our on our localities. Third is uh, uh, bringing basic services to the population, and here we have a problem of rethinking the uh, what I call technological packages that we are using that were based on uh, the uh, reality of European cities, which is not our reality today because the uh, um, expansions, the sprawl, put us in a situation whereby these technologies can be non adapted to our, uh, to our situation. For example, if you take the city of Kinshasa, 8 million people, the extension of Lebanon, when can you think that this city will have a centralized sewage system to get our people out of bad condition of sanitation? So we have to invent new technical packages to address this issue of basic services. Fourth is how to maintain our infrastructure and equipment. And this is something that we need to address aggressively because as you saw, the poor maintenance 
give us a return on investment that is very poor and give us more burden on the way we address the uh, growth of our cities. And uh, they, we need to start education for maintenance at the intermediary cities so that it is embedded in the heads of our population. And the last one is governing the city, governing the territory. And here we have to reinvent because we, there, are, there is a serious lack of confidence between population and leaders. And at the intermediary city level, this is where we have to sue, to uh, try and rebuild trust between the local governments, the public authorities, and the population. I stop here because my network is really, really poor. Thank you.